Wood tables, when you touch them, they feel very smooth, except for where I accidentally scraped or cut into it. It might have been me, could have been someone else, I don't know. But anyway, you see the lines inside the wood table. This feels like wood, it's hard, it's smooth, it's cold. So this is a tactile texture. When you look at Henry Tanner's painting of the banjo lesson, looks like that. This is a wooden floor, but because this is a painting, when I touch this, it does not feel like a wooden floor because it's on paper. So this is an example of visual texture. It looks like wood, but it does not feel like wood. Visual texture. Hair. Hair feels like hair. Soft sometimes, rough sometimes. Hair is tactile because you can touch it. Tactile. Mary Cassatt's Woman with Dog. We talked about tactile hair, texture we can touch. This is a painting of a dog, and the reason why I'm focusing on the dog, not the lady. The dog, we know dogs are covered with hair. When I touch this dog, it does not feel like hair. It feels like paper because it's not a real dog. This is visual texture. Henry Rousseau's Prize Storm in the Forest. If we inspect the painting, we see that there are some trees. Again, this looks like tree, well it looks like a tree, but when I touch it, it does not feel like a tree because it's painted on paper. And this is just visual texture. Tree bark. If you touch a real tree, this is tactile texture. You can feel it and describe it. It's rough, dry, flaky. Tactile texture. You can touch it. Grass is another type of texture. You see that there are brown blades of grass or brown parts of the grass, especially as it gets colder. There's some green parts. Grass can feel cool, prickly, sometimes soft. Sometimes it can make us itchy. So as you can see, grass has raised parts. It grows out of the ground. These are rocks. So rocks are very rough, hard. Some are smooth. It depends on if they've been worn by water or just um, broken by natural means or by man, humans. Um, so again, rough texture. Rocks come in all shapes and sizes. And you can see little bits of aggregate or rocks in pavement. So you see that rocky texture. Very rough. Tactile texture is texture you can touch. Asphalt can also not only be rough, but it can kind of be bumpy too. If you look at it, it's got lots of little raised surfaces. Especially when you look at it in different types of lighting, you can see the shadows where different um, rocks are higher than other rocks. We're talking about textures. There are two types of textures. The first is visual texture. I like to draw eyes because that's what we use to see. Visual texture. The second type of texture is tactile texture. That's supposed to be a hand. I drew it really quickly. It's all good.
tactile texture. Visual texture is texture that we can only see, like a picture or a painting. A picture or a painting of something doesn't mean that it's going to look and feel the same. We talked about the painting of the woman with dog. When you look at the painting, it looks like a dog, but you can't feel the fur. Tactile texture. Ta tactile texture, you can feel the object, like a dog. If you touched a real dog, you can feel its fur. So vi visual texture is texture we can only see. We can't touch it. Tactile texture we can see and touch. You do not have to write this down. Just be aware of it. What I want you to do on your paper, we're going to draw six squares. You can have groups of two, two at the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. Two times three is six. Two plus two is four. Two, four. Four plus two more is six. Two, four, six. Or three times two is six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So you can say two times three or three times two. The first texture we're going to talk about is hair. Hair textures. The next texture we're going to talk about is bumpy. The next hair texture, or not hair texture, the next texture we're going to talk about is wood. Let's start with these first. So when we touch a table, we notice that there are lines in the wood, the planks, then you would have the grain of the wood, which would really be the rings of a tree. So I always start with like a little circle or a knot and draw curved lines around it. These lines can be long or short. So you can start with an oval and draw bigger ovals around it until they just become lines. Wood is a type of texture. But, let's talk about another kind of wood texture, bark. Bark on a tree looks very, almost kind of like rocks. Would be very similar. Bark would be a very rough kind of texture. So two types of wood, wood that's been cut and wood that's still growing from the ground. Same object, but maybe treated a different way. You can have lines inside the bark too. It's very flaky, remember? The more details you add, the more realistic it looks. People love details. You don't have to do all these. Basically, I'm trying to remember the picture and I'm just drawing little squiggly lines. Bark. So wood, this is bark. The outside of a tree. Bumpy. So when we looked at the road, or like rocks, 
we could see rocks sticking out from the gravel or asphalt. Bumpy can be smooth bumps like bubbles or it can be rough. So rocks can be bumpy, the road can be bumpy. Anything that's raised, bumpy. And bumpy just is a vague descriptor for something that's raised and um, elevated. Bumpy can be sharp objects like sharp rocks or smooth pebbles. And even bubble wrap is bumpy. Grass. Grass has a texture too. Not all grass is the same. And as grass gets further away, it might get smaller and smaller. Grass has a texture. If you lay in grass, it might feel prickly or itchy or rough. It might tickle you a little bit. Almost looks like spikes, doesn't it? Like hair, almost. Now for hair, what you can do is connect these two and you've created three. You can have straight hair. You can make the hair short or long. Lots of hair. You can even make the hair stick out like this square is hairy. So hair has a texture. Wavy hair. These wavy lines. Lots and lots of lines. Just looks like a bunch of worms wiggling around. Wavy hair. Then we have spiral or curly hair. Now when I'm drawing hair like this, you can use spiral lines, make it look curly. Depends on if you're left handed or right handed. They don't all have to look the same. You can make some backwards, some little short curls like this. Or lines that kind of look like this. Almost like scribble scrabble. And my camera is wiggling around a little bit. You can have tight curls, loose curls. Curly or spiral hair. So we have wavy or straight, wavy, and spiral. Hair textures. And I hope I use the right terminology for those of you that have parents who know more about hair. I apologize if I got it wrong. So these are just some of the textures that we can come across. Bumpy, if you want to add another one in between. Bumpy and rocks. They look very similar. You can draw rocks like that. Big rocks, little rocks big and little and sometimes rocks can be smooth like pebbles remember they can be different sizes
itsy bitsy teeny weeny rocks rocks can be all sizes so bumpy can be like the road or rocks so this is the road these are just loose rocks So we're talking about texture. Are there other textures that you may know of that I haven't covered? If you want, take this paper over and uh, flip it over on the back and you can draw some more squares on the back and you can explore some of the textures that you can find. So again, we've talked more about textures that we can see, but when we draw them, they become visual textures because when you touch this, it doesn't feel like wood or bark or grass or bumpy rocks or hair. Visual texture we can only see. Tactile texture would be the real object that we can touch and it feels the way it looks. So remember, tactile touch, visual eyes.